it's our responsibility to offer this kind of platform. Just one more way, the Vigo County School Corporation is working to ensure all young people get the education they deserve. Good afternoon to you. I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Tuesday, June 11th. Vigo County School Superintendent Dr. Robert Hayworth says students needs are increasing, but enrollment numbers are decreasing and that decrease also means a decline in school funding. Right now, we're at an 80 year low in national population growth. The Vigo County School Corporation says Vigo County is shrinking not growing. There are fewer school aged children and children in Vigo County have options outside of the school corporation outside until now. Starting this school year, the Vigo County School Corporation is offering high school students an opportunity to enroll in a new virtual school. This new school will partner up with one of the corporation's alternative schools, which is Booker T. Washington. Its goal is not to let any young person fall through the cracks. It'll work to get diploma in their hands. News 10's Jada Huddleston is live in our newsroom and she joins us now to explain more about what a virtual school is and what students and parents can expect with this new option. Susie, as you can see, I'm live here in front of this computer. Now, this is exactly what the virtual classroom is all about. As long as students have one of these, they can learn and work to get their diplomas. Home base for the new program will be at the Booker T. Washington High School. It's available for students in the 12th through 9th grades. Former North Vigo High School principal Robin Smith will be in charge of the virtual school. Starting July 1st, she will be transitioning to her new role as principal. Smith says the corporation has chosen to add this learning option to encourage those who've left the classroom a chance to come back. She says a number of factors could trigger a student to stop pursuing their education, and this is a new avenue to attract them back. Maybe life just takes them outside of the normal school day. Perhaps they're working. Um, perhaps they're already taking care of a family. But we understand the importance of education. And so those kinds of kids who the traditional day doesn't work for them, this provides for them that platform for education. We need to be able to say to a child and a parent, I hear you, I hear where you're coming from that doesn't work let's try this and what do we get out of that we 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 educate a child a young a young man or young woman principal smith says there's a lot that needs to happen before the big launch a company by the name of edmentum has par partnered with the corporation on this project that company will provide the curriculum for students besides principal smith the school will also hire a counselor now coming up at the top of the hour i'll tell you exactly who the ideal virtual student is and how you can get more information if you're interested in this opportunity reporting live in the newsroom jada huddleston news 10.